Okay. There we go. Now we're rolling. <laughs> Howdy guys and gals, I'm Kyle Broderick. Welcome to a gigantic field in Oklahoma. Uh, you're here with some socially regressive people. Uh, today we're gonna be shooting at a mile. We've measured this out, or Kedrick has, on, uh, on GPS. We think we have a pretty good spot here. We had to get the target really, really high uh, in order to get over the wheat. And uh, we're gonna be shooting 6.5 Creedmoor. In my case, uh, we're gonna be shooting the CMMG Mark III DTR2. Uh, we have some really nice ammo right here. Hornady BTHP uh, match, 140 grain bullets, Reloader 16. These things are shooting really tight. And we've had some other videos so far on uh, on this. We, we've shot at about a thousand yards. We've done uh, some moving targets and we're gonna do some other stuff, hunting pigs with this rifle and uh, hopefully uh, shooting some coyotes and other things like that. And we have uh, a guy up here, his name is Luke, and he's gonna be shooting a Savage. Uh, it's the, um, the the old 10BA or the 110BA in 338 Lapua Magnum. It's, it's one of my favorites. It has a really heavy chassis. It has the Magpul PRS uh, buttstock on the back. It's just, you know, big, really solid, and I think it should be able to do it. So yeah, 338 Lapua Magnum. He's shooting some Hornady 285 grain uh, ammunition uh, made by Hornady. Um, and I think it has ELD match bullets or something. So yeah, we should have plenty of uh, of supersonic range. In his case, he's still going to be plenty supersonic by the time he connects with the target. In our case, we're going to be subsonic for about 200 yards. That's what I've estimated with my little chart right here. I think we're going to start going subsonic at about uh, 1,550 yards or so. So yeah, 200 yards to traverse subsonic. I'm really curious to hear how it's going to sound on the downrange camera because we have a GoPro out there. And I don't know, if I miss anything, Kedrick? All right, let's shoot. We're setting up the target camera, it's a GoPro. And here is our target. It's a big old eight by four with a steel target slapped onto it. Painted a wonderful pink. Beautiful pink. I think it's gonna show up really well. I hope I have that much elevation. I guess I can't get both of you in the shot, so maybe I'll just try and get Luke in the shot. So I think you need to cuddle up with me. There's 20. So if I put the camera here, it's actually even better. You're just really close to the tank, don't fall off. Y'all ready? All right, I have eyes on target. Still reading. Yeah, just wind from the right, about three miles an hour, I'm guessing. Shooter ready. Spotter ready. Thumbs up. There we go. That was at the base of the target, left side. As far as horizontal goes, it looks like, yeah, you were left edge of target it's and two probably point, bottom of target. Yeah, it's 2.2 MOA low. Yeah. Did not see. You probably hit the board. We're not gonna see it. Increase your wind hold slightly. Wind has increased. I saw a branch come down. Yep. That might be a little high. Could just be the path of the bullet through those trees in the foreground. Yeah. Let's go see if we got a a new hole there. All right, let's do it. Yeah, that wasn't there. That's a knot. Rats. Knot. <laughs> I need to look for. All right now, there's a little branch that came down. That would have been from straight overhead, so it's going too high. Yeah. There's too much, too much on the dial up. Focus. 
All right, shooter ready? Spotter is ready. Did not see. All right, I'm gonna bring it back down. Wind is directly at us. Zero wind. <sighs> Did not see. Can't see it either. I can't even see the trace. Wind is still zero. <sighs> I'm just kind of seeing a boiling mirage. Okay. <sighs> there we go. Bottom left of the target. Is that what you saw, Kedrick? Yep. Didn't see it. Okay. Yeah, it looked like bottom left. Pretty much the exact same spot that we saw first shot. I think it was, I think it's in that bamboo where I was at, because that was mud. That was brown, that wasn't right rock. So, so what does that mean for wind? What's the width of that board? Four feet. Yep. All right, hopefully this is the one. Did not see. Well, that's the solution. I don't know why it's not working. Did not see. Yeah, I can't see anything either. Shoot it ready. Water ready. All right, dead center mass. Ow! I saw it. That hit right. Yep. That was like five feet to the right. Yep. And low. It was yeah, low it was too. Low. Right? Uh, you know, I just realized. You can't it. That's yeah. why you hit right. You gotta well, level it as best as you can with your eyes. Oh, like that? Yeah, just twist the rifle. Okay. I wasn't even watching for that. Well, I hope we got it. I hope we got it right. Just level it as best you can. Luke drove forward to check the target, which appeared to be clean. Instead of returning to us, he spotted from behind an oil container about 500 yards closer to us and about 50 yards off to the left. That sounds really weird from down here. You, you hit in the trees left. Okay, so... Like way left, it looked like. So let's go right. How far right should we go? I would hold, I would dial in, turn it to one R. So you're gonna move the impact right one minute and okay. then hold on the right edge of the board. Okay. Did not see. I didn't see it either. I didn't see anything either. Did not see. I'm not, I'm not even hearing the impact, so it's gotta be going through the trees. Since we couldn't get a read on where the 338 Lapua was missing, and since we were starting to lose daylight, we switched over to the CMMG in 6.5 Creedmoor. Here it comes, sending. I 
I didn't see an impact. I didn't either. Are you guys still reading a little bit of right right wind? I've got no wind where I'm at. Okay. I feel like it's straight behind us. All right, I'm gonna zero it then. And here comes the follow-up act. I'm just not seeing anything. Okay. All right, I'm gonna drive over there for a cool quick. Okay. It looks like we made an impact at 1,760 yards. It is low and left. We haven't hit the plate. We've hit the big board. So we're gonna try to walk this thing up there. Okay. Okay, that's the end of my five shot string. Kedrick's gonna go ahead and take five. Okay. Did you see where that brass is going? Yes. Oh, yes, all right. <laughs> Here's the tricky part. Yeah. <laughs> the image is gonna look like garbage. Uh-huh. You have to be down at about 10 and a half. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Stick with the 10.5. All right, that should be about right. There we go. There's using that semi-auto. <laughs> okay, we're good. All right, we're not. Uh, hold on. Give us a second to clear the gun. Evaluating the target afterward, we came to the initial incorrect conclusion that the bullets had become unstable passing through the transonic barrier and had gone through the target sideways. Yes, they had become unstable and gone through the target sideways, but that's because they were striking the road. And we couldn't tell that because the road was just a little bit too moist. We weren't really kicking up any dust. And these bullets, they were subsonic for a good long time, 200 yards. And considering just the size of the, the group that we got with the shots that we actually hit, uh, I think that the CMMG is totally up to the task. We just need to adjust our elevation, and we're going to be able to shoot some pretty tight groups with this, even at a mile. So we're going to come back. We're going to revisit this challenge with a whole new type of target. Make sure that you subscribe and that you click the notification bell at the bottom if you're in YouTube because we are going to be coming back and we're going to be shooting at a new type of target that's going to provide much more feedback, we hope. Uh, I'm really glad that we had the GoPro out there and we're going to continue to keep uh, some kind of target camera down range, but we're going to add a new type of target that I think is going to uh, tell us a bit more of what's going on. The CMMG Mark III DTR2 and, you know, in concert with the Bushnell HDMR2, they totally took care of this challenge. Uh, they, they definitely worked. So if you've ever wondered a 6.5 Creedmoor, you know, even especially out of an AR-10, which in general is known for having a little bit more slop in it, no, this rifle is just amazing. The scope is working great. 
and we're going to come back. We're going to see what we can do with it. Thank you, patrons of the Destructive Arts, for making this shoot possible. You're the ones that are buying the equipment, like the rear bag, the bipod, the bullets, and the other consumables that I use to make shoots like this happen. Thanks a whole lot, you guys. Thank you, Peter, my 300 Win Mag patron of the Destructive Arts. If anybody else wants to chip in and kind of become a, uh, a producer behind the scenes of this content, I'll put the link to Patreon around here somewhere. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.